Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, welcome to this another uh, uh, build series. So uh, this is gonna be, I think, uh, part four of this uh, build series for this uh, 4x8 DIY CNC machine. So in this uh, video, uh, we're just going to install this uh, large motor, the NEMA 34 motors, to the y-axis so here is gonna be this one i'm going to install this one in here and then the other one is going to be on the other side and then for the x axis is going to be here so it's going to be installed underneath here just like this and then the z axis is also here but then uh, for now i will just going to focus on the anima uh, 34 because the this uh, z axis is just uh i just put this one on top so this one is a NEMA 23, so this one is a uh, small one, so yeah, so let's get started, peace! Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Efren. I'm a designer and I also love building DIY projects. And if you're new to my channel, uh, please consider subscribing. And if you like this type of content, then uh, please give it a thumbs up and like this video and share it if you like this video. So let's continue the build. So now guys, I'm going to install this uh, large motor. So this one is a NEMA 34. So before I'm going to install this one, as you can see here, there's a kind of a lip. So this around uh, black round here so naka ano siya naka protrude so it's protruding out so the holes for the bolt is kind of recessed so if I'm going to tighten this one then it, it will uh, make this whole assembly uh, uh, leaning to the uh, one side so uh, before I'm going to install this one is I'm going to put some kind of a washer so this one is a washer so I'm going to install this one here so so that it would be easier and it would be a uh, balance for the whole uh, for the four holes for this motor so as you can see here are the uh, washer that i'm going to use as a spacer so now i'm going to install the motor but then as you can see here i already put this uh, bolt this one is the bolt uh, where the uh, chain is going to be uh change direction so this one is just uh, the same as a belt so there's gonna be a change direction to two two bolt and a, a bearing or a what you call this uh, a u bearing underneath so that uh, the 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 chain is just going to go that way and then it will uh, distribute uh, change the direction to the uh, to side to the sideways so that's gonna be it so I'm just going to take the camera and uh, show you the whole assembly for uh, this one before I'm going to install the motor so that is the the bolt that uh, I am talking about so underneath there is there's a bearing so here's the bearing so this one is a 12 mm bolt and then this one is a large bearing I don't know I, I forgot the size so the the, the uh, chain is going to go in here and then it will go out on that side and the same way on this uh, bearing it will go out in this side so that uh, I can at, uh, anchor the the chain into both end that side and also in that side so now i'm going to install the motor and after that is that one and then uh the chain uh the the sprocket and then the chain so let's go so guys uh install kotong washer so by the way as you can see uh it's uh, now color yellow because uh this is i i just paint uh, spray painted this one with this uh, spray paint Fun. Uh, because uh, if I'm going to install this one, I, I go or I, I cannot able to uh, access this one anymore. So I, I will not be able to paint uh, this one after installing this these motors. So yeah, that's why I'm just uh, painting it here. So now I'm going to put uh, this one. In here, then I'm going to face uh, this wire into this side because this is the side where the uh, drag chain is going to be installed. And so now is the time for the bolt. So for the bolt, I have here a uh, four M six 
this one are uh, this are uh, M6. Uh, these are stainless steel uh, bolt. So yun guys, uh, naka-install na siya. Uh, this one is already tightened. So, uh, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to install this bracket. So, here is the bracket for this uh, motor. Here. So, I'm going to install this one underneath. So, now guys, uh, I'm going to install this bracket here underneath so this one has uh, i actually uh went to machine shop to to be able to uh, make uh, this hole uh, the same as the shaft because this one is 14 mm this one is the factory uh hole for this one is at 12 mm so i went to machine shop to make this one 14 mm and also i also uh, asked them to add uh, the set screw so now uh, this uh, motor has a key KVA but then uh, because I'm just going to use a set screw so the set screw is going to uh, go in that uh, canal or the, the part where there's going to be a a K key so just like that now I'm going to tighten uh, this uh, set screw here So, you guys, I think this one is already tightened. This piece. So, I think that's going to be uh, fine. So, what will happen here is that the chain is going to wrap uh, this bracket here. Here. Then, going to go into this side. Then, going to go out towards this side. So, that's uh, what's going to happen in this uh, y-axis. So, now I'm going to go to the x-axis. So the same way as uh, this uh, uh, first motor that I installed, I'm going to put uh, some washer or spacer. going to tighten this one first so that I can and uh, I'm not going to hold this one longer I'm not supposed to to carry this one because I'm vaccinated so uh, it's a little bit so sobra siyang mabigat it's very heavy and I'm holding on the, the, the hand that I've been vaccinated. So, uh, I've been vaccinated here. A few days back. Oops. The... They are almost on the top, and so I just uh, tighten it slightly. Then uh, here at the back, so okay, so I can tighten this part here. And I think that's fine. So, the other problem that I'm uh, looking at right now is this part here. The level of the, the bolt. This uh, pulley in the motor is way too low than the pulley 
on the motor side uh, on the uh, linear rail side so i'm going to adjust uh, this one and also this one so that uh, they are going to be uh, level to each other but now uh, i'm just going to uh, tighten this part here uh, i still have to access this back side so yeah that's what i'm going to do next then after that is uh, leveling this two two pulley then i'm going to the other side for the uh, y motor the other one so i have the washer in here so uh, it's gonna be eight for the hose so the same as the other side i'm going to uh, spray paint uh, this part here the lower part because i'm not uh, going to able to uh, because i'm not uh, be able to access this one in the future if i'm going to install the motor and tighten it so uh, just uh, to prevent it from rusting so i'm just going to spray it with the uh, lacquer after that one uh, after uh, this one is dry then i'm going to install the motor so uh, we have to wait a little bit of time so that uh, i can install the motor after that here is the motor so the motor is going to be like this the wiring is going to be facing this side because i'm going to route the, the, this uh, cable towards the controller and uh, this side uh, this one is very heavy Mm hmm so I wasn't able to put it that way so I'm going to rotate it just like this okay so that's the location of the motor now the motor is already there so the same way as the other I'm going to uh, fasten or install this particular motor with this 6 mm stainless steel screw. So I'm going to go close. So in guys, uh, flat na siya, so na level na. It's already leveled. So this uh, uh, motor pulley and then also the uh, reduction pulley, so they are now uh, level. So I also installed the uh, belt, the rubber belt that's uh, going to drive this uh, reduction pulley. So aside from that, I also installed a lot of things, uh, the, the wiring uh, to be specific because uh, uh, the, the, the camera just uh, died because of uh, no enough space. So as you can see here, I have the wiring for the motor. So this uh, Z axis here. So this uh, Z axis, I already wired this one here and also going to this uh, connection here. So I already uh, wired the, the limit switch for the Z axis, which is uh, this wire. Then uh, this one here is going to be the, the, the wiring for this uh, motor. And uh, this other wire is just an extension cord uh, just to power the the spindle or the uh, trim, uh, rotor trimmer that I'm going to use for this one temporarily. So this one is temporary So because I haven't uh, uh, purchased any uh, spindle, uh, air-cooled spindle yet because I don't have enough money for that because it's a little bit more expensive. So also the, the other side which is on that area, I already have the motor which is the, the wire is here, this one. So this one is the motor and also the the uh what you call this the the signal uh signal wire going to the driver to to check if uh, the, the the motor is uh, not losing steps so it's already also here but then i did not include this one into the uh, drug chain because uh it's going to that direction is not going to the uh, this uh, connection so also the motor for this side is uh, finally fixed and the motor also for the 
y axis this one is already fixed and then the wiring is here this one is the wiring so it goes through this drag chain so um, wait i'm going to move the camera so so it's already wired so all the wirings are already here so this one is a really tight uh because uh, the, this uh, drag chain is uh, thick but then uh, it's a little bit more smaller on the uh width so they are just uh, uh <laughs> the, the the size of the drag chain is just enough for all the wires but then if i'm going to add more then it's not gonna be uh gonna work so maybe in the future if i'm going to add the 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 wiring for the uh, control or the, the spindle so i i, I think i am just going to uh put it outside and wrap the, the, the wire into this drug chain so the uh, y-axis the two of the motor is already fixed and then the wiring is also installed here then the, the x-axis which is this one is also installed and then wired and then the z-axis is also uh, wired then the next thing that I'm going to do right now is uh, I'm going to install the limit switches so 